and our game of the week loaded with heart. Lord Botetot had a slew of injuries, but have come through unbeaten. Hidden Valley has a rejuvenated, a successful program with a playoff win already, which brings us to the actual contest between the lines. Botetot's a physical club. Titans would have to match that intensity tonight. Eric Johnson spent the night in Daleville watching the collisions. Eric. Happy, as you mentioned, Lord Botetot, a perennial playoff power. And they've been playing inspired football throughout the entire season, overcoming multiple injuries. As for Hidden Valley, of course, they come into this one, having made noise in the playoffs already, eager for this matchup. But I must tell you, careful what you wish for sometimes, especially in the playoffs. Let's get you out to tonight's highlights. Cavaliers and Titans defensive battle to start this one. James Ryan Salvi trying to get loose. Matt Strong with the sack fumble. Recovered by Steven Robertson. But the Titans turned the ball over on downs multiple times in the first half. Javon Wilson stuffed by Isaiah Stevens and company. Hunter Rice will plunge in here for a second half touchdown. 12-0 lead. Catawba Crazies liking what they see later. Salvi airing it out right in the bread basket for Kyle Arnholt. 70-yard score. LB built a 26-0 lead. Hidden Valley scored twice late through the air. Carroll finding Kelly Mitchell here, but it was well too late. Lord Botetot called Uncle Ben for some help tonight because Hunter Rice rumbled for over 300 yards, four touchdowns. Cavs win 33-13. We were doing some things out of character in the first half on blocking-wise, and we got it cleaned up in the second half, so it got a lot better. Hunter's effort definitely made a difference as well. Evan would kill to be out here right now, and I hate that he's out, and, you know, somebody's got to step in and get the yards that he would have gotten, so... Uh, but all props to my offensive line. I have the best offensive line in the state of Virginia. We're 12-0, but 2-0 in the playoffs. We can't go big-headed. I think that's the only thing. The only thing that's going to beat us is ourselves. Hidden Valley simply was not able to take advantage of those mistakes that the Cavaliers did make tonight. As for Lord Botetown, as you heard there, they feel like the only things in the way is themselves at this point. However, they say that they have yet to play a complete game first and second halves. They'll have to do that moving forward now as they move into the region finals.